subscriber write to me and ask me to teach a specific move. Um, the move she's asked me to teach is the hip drop alternating with the kick. We're going to start on our left leg, weights on our left. Usually you're facing a diagonal to your audience when you perform this move. And the weight is never going to leave our left foot as long as we're facing this diagonal. Um, the toe of the right foot is just going to be just on the ball. Remember to get your belly dancer's stance, shoulders back, chest lifted, tailbone pointing to the ground. It's not tucked and it's not released. It's just down to the neutral position. The count is going to be, and we're just going to start with the basics. Remember I tell you guys always to start with the basics and then add. Add layers to that as you're comfortable. Um, don't advance until you're comfortable with the very basic move. So this very basic move is knees gently bent and never lock them when you're straightening them. What we're going to do is just drop this hip. Drop, 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 drop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now to get this drop, what I'm doing is I'm elongating the oblique. And I'm also contracting the left hip. So if you were looking behind me, it would look like this. Drop, 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 drop. See how this hip automatically comes up. It has to, it's connected. <clears throat> so here we go. It's one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Try it on the other side. Weight's on the right foot. Left foot is just on the ball of the foot. Knees bent, shoulders back and comfortable. And ready, it's one and two and three and four, five and six and seven and eight. Now you can lift all the way up or you can just bring that hip back to neutral. Drop neutral. Drop, neutral, drop, neutral, and then drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift. Either way is perfectly acceptable. I've seen it, and especially you're out there dancing, adrenaline's going, and you're just bopping away because it feels good. Okay, the kick part. The kick part is going to, I'm going to do it this time on the even numbers. Um, there's no set way to do it as long as you're alternating. You want to... Step the ball of the foot down, and then you want to kick. So as long as it alternates. And so it's going to go down, one and two, and three and four, and five and six, and seven and eight. A good way to drill this, to try and um, be able to hold your balance um, on that one foot, and practice getting that hip down is to go ahead and stand on one foot. Get that right foot up off the floor, get into your stance, pull those lower abs in to your spine. That's what's going to allow you to stay tall and not wobble all over the place. If you're having balance problems, pull the abs into the spine. Now just try it. Drop up, drop up, drop up, drop up. Other side. Same thing, hold that foot up off the floor and drop up, drop up, drop. Pull your abs in if you're wobbling. Drop up, drop up. Now on this side, let's try alternating the kicks again on the even side. So one and two and three and four, five and six and seven and eight. So all I did was on my seven and eight. Come to a flat position, weight on both feet, and you're going to turn slightly. And I notice I pivot on the balls of my feet. Weight transfers to the left foot, right foot forward. Again, kicking on the even. One and two, three and four and five and six, seven and eight. One and two and three and four, five and six and seven and eight. Now let's try that with music.
Bye.